Yo, let me put this on because my hair is messy. Uh, this is 2024 vlog, not how I wanted to start it. Hurt my knee, but looks way worse than what it is. Um, but I'll dive into it. Let's go. What was it? <laughs> you pass my phone, please, son. You pass my phone, please. It's okay. Man, I need to get a haircut. It's looking like what I'm feeling like. <laughs> um, oh, shut up. Let me just turn it down. Yo, so just finished a three week block of preseason. Um, was going awesome. Like, I dropped all my skin folds. I got, I dropped 15 mils um, post Christmas. Or, oh, and even through Christmas. So, um, that's a big thing for me. I was at 95. I'm at 95 mils at 128 body weight. So I've put on um, lean muscle mass, which is great. So everything's tracking really well. I had testing this week and I seem to get out of it. <laughs> nah. But um, anyway, so finish my three weeks, the three week block, and then we're going into like games. So then I get home on Friday. Honestly, I, I finished training. It's sweet get home on Friday um, and everything's good I walk I walk in the door I, I say hello to Mags and Spence and, and then Jalen as well you know I end up having a little nap with Jalen on the couch 20 minute nap and like I think I sleep funny so like on the couch just over here I think I sleep funny and then my knees a little bit sore so I'm like sweet and then um I go to the pools and then I wake up, I take Spence to the pools, just down to the pool to stretch out and uh, in the pool and stuff. And it's not, it's not going away. Like the pain is kind of gradually getting worse and worse. Get out of the pool and I start limping because I can't walk properly. And I'm like, oh, it'll be fine. Like it's just general soreness. Like, you know, I'm getting older. Um, and my body just takes a bit longer to recover. Recover, you know. Given end of the week, tough week, preseason, you know, it took my body hard, and it does take me a little bit longer to recover. Anyway, I get back home, you know, just carry on, help with dinner and stuff, and then I sit down, and Meg says, "Oh man, your legs, your leg looks a bit smaller than your knee." And then I look down, and it's kind of puffed out a bit. So I'm like, "Oh man." So I'm sitting down. I go to I go to stand up to go to the kitchen again and it's it's like really sore really painful so now i'm thinking and it's more swollen and then i um i, I text my physio i said hey look my knee's swollen up i don't know what's wrong and uh i need to see you like I'll, 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 I'll just check it we'll check it in the morning or i'll check in in the morning and see how we're going he's like yep sweet he calls me yeah sweet come in in the morning we'll check it out because then I can't, like, start to bend it. Like, I can't really bend it anymore. This was all on Friday. And then Friday night, it was, like, it just ramped up a whole nother level. I had no painkillers. And it was so painful. I could I literally couldn't walk. I sat here, and I called out to Max because she was upstairs with baby. And um, she came down, and I was just crying. Legit crying because I literally thought, my season was done and the hardest thing was i didn't know why like i didn't know why um and i was scared really scared really really scared because i couldn't walk it was it was so painful and it's it's it was so painful so i couldn't like so it was really scary um so what a way to start my 2024 so yeah so saturday rolls around i i literally can't walk it's sore as I have to like hold things, hop, um, go into the physio room. He gets me crutches, takes pressure off, and then it's all go. I get an MRI scan straight away. Hard for me to get in and out of the car. This is all, all on Saturday morning. Meanwhile, Max has just come off pre pregnancy like recovery, six weeks. She just hit the six-week mark in terms of her recovery. So she just started driving. Um, Spencer's got things to do. Um, Jaylen, we've got to get Jalen in the car and, and I'm like feeling so useless so mentally I'm like really struggling just because I don't know what's wrong 
and I'm scared and I can't do things for my family. Um, yeah, so then I get it drained as well. So I get my MRI, I go get it drained. So the, the doc, emergency doctor takes some fluid out of the joint, which actually helps a lot. I get some painkillers and then it's actually since draining it it's now Monday morning uh, week of training and I can walk around a bit more so I'm on the I'm on the recovery I still don't know what's wrong properly because the doctors they told me but it was a bit unclear so I thought I'd bring you along on the journey and that's my story and um, not just this but I'll come back from this like Two weeks, give me two weeks, four weeks maximum. Let me get to the bottom of the story and then we'll see. But yeah, I thought I'd make a vlog about it. Cause uh you know, you know me, I'm real. This reality and the reality of being an older rugby player too, so the mysteries of being a um thirty three year old prop having been in the game for fourteen years and what my body's gone through, so let's find out how far we can take it, eh? <laughs> I'll keep you updated.
just on my way to see the specialist the knee specialist I woke up feeling great after having my knee drained yesterday I uh, put a cortisol in I think that's what it's called a uh, little steroid jab to help my um no not steroids there's legal stuff it's pretty much like an anti-inflammatory injection anyway why am I complete why am I explaining myself to you <laughs> but um a bit nervous going to see the surgeon the specialist hopefully in Jesus name he says that I don't need um, like surgery or clean out just a little clean out which would be good um, hopefully he says I don't need that and I can just truck on and yeah I feel like I can run honestly the past like 72 hours has been like a roller coaster of emotion literally thought my season was done like and the most I think frustrating but scary thing was that I didn't do anything to hurt myself like I didn't pop my I didn't feel anything pop I didn't um, do a certain movement that hurt my knee I literally just got home and it kind of just blew up overnight um, yeah so hopefully it goes well um, you know perspective is a big thing like I've had mates that have gone through back-to-back -back long term injuries has come out and come out stronger than ever so I draw inspiration from that and uh, also draw inspiration from my family and and my friends and I think perspective is a big thing you know like there's more to life than footy but also you work so hard for something you don't want to just give it up or like or be like oh man my season's done or this or that so yeah hopefully it goes well and um, I'll check in later all good news for my man Carl. He's my physio right here. He's the man. One of my Dublin's finest. <laughs> nah, good news though, so um, no surgery. So let's go. It's out here. Uh, seeing Jonty, my man always fixes me up, eh? Maybe out these ways in Ascot. Come see him, mate, in power. Let's go. Please make me look. <laughs> Look younger. Eh? <laughs> so off to meet up with a hot date this morning, and uh, thank you. Unfortunately, I have a um, third wheel, so but he's all right. Lucky he's cute. Oh, here she is. Yeah. you pull the camera out and see how the boys change <laughs> our media day today so trying on a new kit bah. yeah bro back yourself i need to think of a 
I need to think of a song. Not like a hype up. Ah, you know, I haven't done it yet. Try so I'm, I'm thinking of like, but the get the pistols out, you know, or maybe a shotgun. What'd you go for? Good song, man. Yeah, how are they? They should have told us in advance. What we sing? What we sing? What we sing? All Black and Queensland Reds recruit Jeremy Jeffrey to a Jeremy. Yeah, Fubo, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. It's hard being a Kiwi than jumping on the other side and saying, oh, this is what you need to do. So, what does Jeffrey Tuamunga. <laughs> like, subscribe. And that's a wrap. Uh, sweet. Until next time. Peace.